So today we are going to look at building a e-newsletter from the monthly campaigns that TJ Golf uh, will build for you. Uh, we are going to start by going into the newsletter campaign. Uh, from here you need to click the create a new campaign button. So then you want to name your campaign. So for the month of June we'll call this Pro Shop e-news June 2017. That will then automatically uh, put that into your subject line. From there we click next. So now we come to choose the template you're going to be using for this month. Now uh, if you click on the my templates button here on the left you'll see that your June template will be in your account uh, and this will be the same for you uh, on the first of each month. Uh, or just before so you have a template ready to go. So we select June 2017 which will then take us into the editing module. Okay so here we have the preloaded uh, content for your newsletter. What we're going to go into ahead and do now is edit it to make it personalized for, for a particular golf club. Uh, for here this we're going to use uh, St. Neots Golf Club and um, Paul Toyer as an example. So first of all, you want to get your golf club logo in here. So let's click up here, and that will open up your uh, your uh, your files to be able to choose uh, image. Uh, just in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I created earlier. Uh, so you'll obviously have your own logo saved in in various points uh, around your computer. So it's just a case of dropping that in there. Now you can um, mess around with the size of the logo. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You can put it in the middle, you can put it right, you can put it left. Uh, I suggest just keeping it on the left on the left side. So you've got your golf club logo in. Now we want to change this generic image which will be the same each month. I highly recommend that you put in your own heading header image. To replace any image within this newsletter template you simply click the image and then replace and that will bring up your folder again for you to choose a new image. So if you've got a banner pop that straight in. Now you'll see here is the welcome uh, text which is already put in. Feel free to change or amend any of that simply by again clicking in the box uh, and then you can just write straight into that as you would do uh, in, in any of the newsletter or Word document. Uh, we have our competition. Uh, then we come to entering your golf club news. Now again as I just mentioned to change the text simply put in your headline here. So we've got here club club news. Now you can change this into a headline simply by highlighting the text and then clicking this box here which will give you the various headings titles. So as this is quite a small box I'm just going to do heading 3 just to keep it quite small and then you can go ahead and put your, your club news in here so uh, Steve Smith, no idea who he is, uh, won last week's oh, club championships Good work, Steve. I'd like to think you'll have something a bit more interesting than that, but that's just an example. Now again, just to show you how to replace the image, this is just going to be a placeholder image placeholder, which will always be there for you. Just simply click the image, click replace, again, and then you can go in and uh, choose, your, choose your image. If the images come out a little bit big, you can edit them just by simply highlighting the image again and then click edit and if you think that might be a little bit big we can crop it so we'll just take that up to the water there found that lake a few times I can tell you there we go and save that and the image will now be cropped slightly shorter there you go okay so now we're going to the pro shop news so exactly the same there again put your headline in although this will already be in there for you I just forgot to do it this time so I'll make sure that that's amended for you uh, in your in your monthly templates so then now we've got a FJ sale now on and then what we'll do is we shall again replace that image with that one there okay so now we go down the down the newsletter and you'll see we've got uh, so a video in here to preview the upcoming US Open Championship. 
and then we come into product spotlight now obviously this is quite a comprehensive list of products that are available to TGI partners you won't stock all of them so we need to take out the ones that you don't so uh, for this example uh, we don't stock Bemros so you click over here on the right hand side of the copy you'll see the uh, an outline here or a bigger blue box you simply click in that blue box it says delete yes yes I do away it goes and everything will snap back up now again we don't stock Ben Ross so we're going to keep taking all of the Ben Ross options out Callaway we do stock Callaway so we're going to keep Callaway in Cobra again don't have Cobra today so these are all coming out Mizuno we do not stock Mizuno so Mizuno are coming out there's going to be quite a few here guys but you know we have to cater for everyone ping we're going to keep pinging uh, and then we're going to take and we're going to keep Strixen in so they're us they're who we stock we don't stock Taylor made Taylor made are coming out tight list are coming out I'll speed this bit up so now that's all the, all of the brands we don't stock are now out of the newsletter so now we're coming to teaching zone. Again, you want to keep this in for your little hints and tips. You can add in here if you little a little bit if you want about your new your lesson packages. Again, you simply click in the text box and then you can add in lesson packages here, and then you can go through to highlight all your lessons. I'm just going to take that out for this one. A uh, little video looking back at the players' championship. Then a what's in the bag from uh, the players. A little bit about the competition winner from the previous newsletters. Now you want to put in your own image. So we're going to again just click on the image, click replace, choose a nice picture. Here's me about to slice one across the fairway. And don't forget to add in your own details. So just put in myself for the time being. You'll obviously have your own name and that's the email address if you have any questions, guys and girls. Uh, so you get the gist. Now, if I want to add something in that's not already in the pre-populated template, just simply hit this Add Section button down here. Now, what that will do is bring you up some options to have uh, one article straight across, two articles exactly the same, uh, three uh, smaller articles, one that is got a smaller article on the left and a bigger on the right which would be good for putting images in perhaps there and then the wording in there and then the other side as well so you've got a, a bigger aspect on the left and a smaller on the right so if we just want to add in something we can click there that then adds in a new a new element so from there you then have a choice of text image a spacer video button or divider these two are probably the ones you're going to be using most so if i want to put a picture in there i simply drag image to there then I go back to choosing my image from my folder. It's as simple as that. Now, if you then want to move this around the newsletter, you want to move it up, you want to move it down, you simply hover your mouse here to get the cursors and then drag her up. So I want to put this in just after the new the teaching zone. And there it is. Whatever you do, don't forget to fill in your club address or your shop address uh, at the gap down here on the bottom left. Once we're happy with our newsletter, we hit preview. Have a look, see how it's going to look. You can see on both desktop and mobile phone here how it's going to look. Drag it down, have a good read through, guys. Make sure all of the links work. There's be nothing more embarrassing, believe me, I know, than having a link that goes not where it's supposed to go. Um, so from there, define recipients, choose your database, next, and then schedule delivery, we're ready to go. And that's it guys, if you have any questions, then either give me a shout, uh, give head office a shout, or, or perhaps most importantly, contact your retail consultant who will be uh, willing to give you uh, as much assistance as you require. Thank you very much.